All right, this is uh, Jared with Omnivore Blade Works. And this is the new, well, it's not really new, but it's the Americanus with the um, wider blade version. You can see, hopefully in this picture, that I have a straight, oh, a straight grind geometry on the major part of the blade and it comes out to the point and then I have a 40 degree, basically zero grind edge uh, belly of this blade and then a false edge. So you're gonna have a really strong point here. So this is what Crocodile Dundee would have needed if he's actually gonna throw a, a Bowie knife without worrying about busting his point off. Now the sheath system, is something that I had held off on for a long time because I had no idea how to deal with this because whenever you have a belly on a blade, you can't pull a straight, pull a sheath. You have to have some wiggle room or a spacer or something to keep the blade from getting binded up into the sheath. Um, another feature that's hidden on this blade is that I did some carbidized edge treatment on this 90 degree shelf here so that if you want to use a ferrocerium rod striker um, on this, you've got a knife edge right here hidden underneath the coat, And so as you wear through that, it's um, gonna expose the carbide and it's gonna keep on working for you without, probably induce some corrosion proofing too because carbide is not as rust, uh, prone to rust as, as steel. Now, the only modification on this knife that I did after the heat treat in order to accommodate the sheath design was to do some jimping on this spine here. Um, and the reason I did that is because I made this sheath system, which you can see has got some magnets embedded into a 3 8 inch thick micarta spacer on the back. First of all, I, and it's got a spacer up here um, on the, on the um, false edge area as well. So there's two space, three spacers actually, and there's one for the edge, uh, for the belly of the blade too. So anyway, what you do is you put the knife in with the, you put it right on this front spacer and then you let it snap in. And now you've got these magnets holding the spine of the blade up into the sheath against the spacer. And when I first did it, I didn't have any jimping, which made it so you could just pull this knife straight out whereas it's only supposed to come up, away from the magnets. And so first I thought, oh, maybe you can put some rubberized uh, spray stuff in there so that it'll get some friction on the spine, but it didn't work. So I thought, oh, well, maybe I need to put some jimping on the spine of the blade, which I probably needed anyway for extra surface area. And, uh, and then I used some epoxy and I bedded some epoxy into that spacer so now I've got epoxy going into these jimping areas just perfectly so when I put the knife in it just you can't pull it out because it's got jimping keeping it from moving straight out which is the weak way the, the way the, the magnets have no strength in shear so now in order to get the sheet knife out of the sheath you have to pull it up with about 15 pounds of force before it'll come out so the idea is that you do hold this knife on your body like Crocodile Dundee, either edge down or edge up, depending on what you want. And you can draw it edge up like a real Bowie knife fighter, or you can draw it edge down and risk cutting your ass off. But it'd be easier to reholster it if you had it edge down. So that's up to the, the final, final customer um, but this is going to be the sheath system for this Americanus with the belly blade. And I've got one more right now in black. And it's going to also have, i got to have to add the jimping to it. So this prototype is going to go out to a customer who's been waiting for it as is. And he's going to probably beat the snot out of it and see what he likes, see if he likes it. And then this summer, or when the Cerakoting weather arrives again, then I'll refinish it for him if he if he wants. Anyway, um, feel free to use this idea on your, on your knives. Um, 
I hope you'll give me credit for it though. I've never seen it done before this way with magnets. But uh, if you have a, a Bowie knife with a belly on the blade and you and you like this idea, I got my magnets from Super Magnet Man online. They're about 50 cents a piece for a quarter inch diameter magnet. And you can see I just drilled a hole and I glued them in place so they actually touched the, the spine of the blade. Um, and then of course the mounting system is just going to be a piece of kydex with some slots in it or something or paracord and you can wear it on your body um, what else fasteners are from mc2 or chicagoscrews.com these are stainless steel um, the barrel diameter on these is 0.2 inches and uh, I use these for all kinds of stuff. They're actually, uh, I gotta get some more in to finish up some other projects. All right, if you want one, Kim, let me know. I've got some coming um, in 3V before too long. They're gonna have guards on them, but it'll, and I haven't figured the sheath out, but it'll probably be a similar sheath system for that. And then I've got a few more regular Americanas with a more of a straight, straight blade without the belly. And they're just the original version. Um, and they'll have a different sheath, the old style Molly compatible sheath. But in the future, we'll probably be moving to something like this because it's faster deployment and you can carry it like Crocodile Dundee, which is really cool. Plain clothes, carry, Bowie knife. See you next time. Thanks for watching.